when Jeroboam he becomes the king God delivers him out of the hand of Solomon because Solomon makes threats to destroy Jeroboam and Solomon is a very rich and very wealthy guy Solomon was so rich that uh, his armor weaponry was made out of gold he had nowhere he had nowhere to put that gold so he made shields out of gold he made spears out of he made stuff out of gold the bible says the silver and bronze was like nothing in these days tons of gold not grams not pounds tons of gold was delivered to him every year this guy was so rich that there was no enemies comparable to him he literally he just was on the top of the world but he started disobeying god and God started to raise up Jeroboam and Jeroboam he comes you know probably to Solomon and says hey you're not doing this right you know God is already kind of making some arrangements and Solomon begins to make threats and says I'm gonna take you out I'm gonna take care of you and you know if this guy is so resourceful doesn't like you you're in trouble you're in trouble and Jeroboam is the little guy who stands against a huge empire who stands against a rich and a very influential, resourceful, well-connected, powerful king who wants to kill him. Yet God delivers Jeroboam. And it's interesting how God delivers him. He sends a person into Jeroboam's life. It's a prophet. And the prophet says, this and this and this and this will happen to you. When you have a problem in your life, big as big as Solomon, when you have a problem in your life so humongous God wants to deliver you from that problem but not always he will deliver you the way you plan for him to deliver you sometimes he, God will get you out of certain troubles in your life first through a person he will send into your life a pastor or he will send into your life a mentor he will send into your life a home group leader or he will send a good Samaritan who will pick you up and who will take you to church or who will pick you up and begin to bug you to meet with you so that they could see your life changed then we see with Jeroboam when God sends a prophet that prophet gives a promise and the prophet says listen God is gonna give you ten tribes I know that right now you are on the blacklist of King Solomon right now you're being persecuted but listen God has a promise for your life the way God delivers us is when we are at the bottom God gives us the loftiest the craziest outside of this world you're not crazy kind of promises God doesn't wait when your life starts to improve come on everybody believes in those promises then God does not wait when you begin to make adjustments. God waits when you are at the bottom of the bottom. The only thing you care about is how not to die. And God says you will be a king. God gives us a promise in our mess. God gives us a promise in our dilemma. God gives us a promise. God gives us his word of hope when we are at the lowest. And you gotta be a fool to believe it. It worked for him. It will work for you. Can somebody say amen? But you know when he received the prophet he received the promise and God gave him a third thing he gave him a hiding place to run and hide until Solomon would die and Solomon died every big problem in our life if we surround ourselves with right people if we surround ourselves with right knowledge and if we find ourselves a new place if you come today and you're struggling with drinking you can't hide in the bars on the weekends. No matter how much about a Mazda show about a Honda you're gonna say in those clubs. It's not gonna work. You have to have a hiding place. Many people don't see their life change for this one reason. They don't have a new place where they kick it. They come to church on Wednesday but on Wednesday is where they do church. It's where you do it on Thursday Friday, Saturday, Monday night, Tuesday night. It's where that is the place where either will crush you or build you up. Everybody comes on Wednesday. It's where do you go after Wednesday? After the person maybe in right now it's going to be me or somebody who says something. After you hear the word of God, God also gives a place because see you can come to the prayer line. Demons can come out of you you can go to the best deliverance place in the whole world but listen if you don't believe in God's promise and if you don't change your zip code that deliverance will not last that deliverance will not be permanent you gotta change the place where you kick it you gotta change the place where you relax 
you gotta change the place where you feel at home with your homies and your cronies you see when you come to church you look goofy you look funny you look religious you look yes amen praise God brother and sister but when you come to your place hey what's up homie what's up dude because that is your home that is that is where you're at home but in church you won't feel like that right away but until you find yourself new group your life will be stagnant I'm not saying in any way that you have to make it right away in the church but you have to find yourself people who are good you make the place a hiding place with them it means you find a comfort zone with them where you can find those relationships built for the glory of God can somebody say amen 